1732, the Pennsylvania State House is built in Philadelphia, PA to serve as home for the colonial Pennsylvania government. At the start of the Revolutionary War in 1775, the Pennsylvania Assembly Room is loaned out to the Second Continental Congress. After the war, Pennsylvania becomes the second state to enter the newly created Union of the United States of America. In 1799, the Pennsylvania government moved to the old City Hall in Lancaster, and in 1810, the Pennsylvania capital was moved to Harrisburg. A new capital was built and hosted several famous men from our national and world history. In 1897, a fire destroyed the building, leaving only the 60-foot front pillars remaining. Some of the pillars remain to this day, hidden across central Pennsylvania, one of which access is forbidden. Oh, go, go. Three of the six have disappeared. Where are these lost pillars? Are they hidden in plain sight? Let's find out. The Pennsylvania State Capitol building in Harrisburg, PA. This is actually the second Capitol building. The original Hills Capitol building was built in 1820 and served as home to the Pennsylvania government after they moved out of the Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Architect Stephen Hills won the design contract, beating out the designer of the Washington Monument, Robert Mills. While the Capitol was being built in 1820, Hills lived at a house that he actually designed on North Front Street, right around the corner. In 1820, while the Capitol was being built, Hills lived in this house that he designed and had built. On February 2nd, 1897, the Hills Capitol burnt to the ground, leaving only a shell and the six original pillars remaining. Pennsylvania lawmakers then used the United Methodist Church across the street as temporary residence. The Capitol pillars were then dispersed throughout the state as memorials. For many years, it was believed that the pillars at the entrance of the Market Street Bridge were the actual pillars from the front of the Capitol that burnt down. But uh, these pillars are much smaller than the 60-foot front pillars at the Hills Capitol. And at this point, most historians agree that these are probably part of a uh, smaller portion to the side of the Capitol. In 1898, a year after the fire, the first pillar was moved to Linwood Cemetery here in Clinton County. It's inscribed with the, uh, the names of soldiers from seven different wars.
Just prior to leaving Linwood Cemetery, Jersey Shore Historical Society replied back to my message advising that I cannot go onto the property, it is private, and they haven't accessed the property in four years. This second capital pillar was set up in 1900 as a monument to King Wee Da, a Native American leader who made a land deal with William Penn. According to legend, Wee Da's home was near where the monument now stands, and his ghost still haunts the area. If you encounter the ghost, you will feel an irresistible compulsion to return to the spot in one year. In 1907, the third burnt out Hills Capitol pillar was sent here to the Jersey Shore Cemetery as another soldier's memorial. The addition was placing that, uh, sh that soldier at the top of the pillar, but you can see the size of these things. These pillars were huge. Like I said, they were 60 foot and it's nothing like the pillars at the entrance of the Marcus Street Bridge. But for me, it's fascinating to think of the characters from our nation's history that passed under these pillars. Marquis de Lafayette visited the capital in 1825. Uh, Charles Dickens visited in 1842 during his Notes on America tour. And that was a year before he wrote A Christmas Carol. Um, President Lincoln, who President-elect Lincoln, visited the capital in 1861. There have been rumors over the years that debris from the Hills Capitol fire and possibly the pillars were placed in the Susquehanna River. I asked the Capitol historian about this. A 1925 article in the Altoona Tribune attempts to account for all six pillars, but it counts the pillars on the Market Street Bridge as two of the six. A 1940 article in the Harrisburg Telegraph indicates the two bases of the columns are in the pavement in front of the Dolphin County Historical Society. The article indicates that right after the fire, there was talk of arranging the pillars in a semicircle at the foot of State Street along the Susquehanna River, and that the pillars, which were in sections of about six foot in length, were disposed of. Some were sold for building material, pieces went into the new capital, others were sold apart, and nobody knows what happened to them.